Hi everybody, Shannon Johnson here with Make It Myself. So today's project, I'm going to be doing a round coffee table that I picked up not too long ago, and I'm gonna be doing two things to it. The first thing is, is we are going to be doing a chalk paint. I'm gonna do that in a cream color. And then we're gonna sand it down, and we're gonna do a technique I haven't done before, which I know some of you have already heard about, and that's called the dry brush technique. And I'm gonna do that with a light brown color on top of that. So I'm really kind of interested in seeing what it looks like. I haven't done a dry brush technique before. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do with any furniture that you paint is of course clean it really well. Even if it looks pretty clean before you start, you just want to give it a really good cleaning. And that's just because you want your paint to adhere to your furniture, not to any dirt and grime that's on it. All right, so let's get started and I can't wait to see what this looks like when I'm done. All right, everybody. So we just got done doing two coats of the chalk paint and I let it dry really well. In fact, I let it dry overnight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sand it with a very fine sandpaper. Now, you can do it by hand. You can do it with a sanding block. In my case, I'm going to actually be using an electric sander, and that's just because I like to get a really smooth finish. Now, this is a chalk paint, so part of the idea of a chalk paint is to kind of, you know, make sure that you distress it, right? So on the corners, I'm gonna be um, sanding it to the point where I see the stained table underneath. And then after that, we'll clean it up really well with a wet towel, let it dry a little bit, and then we'll do our dry brush. I do do the majority of the table with the electric sander. I do go back through in the hard to reach places with another sheet of paper and get those areas sanded really well. Okay, so now I have sanded my table, distressed it, and I am ready to do the dry brushing. So, Dry brushing isn't anything new. It's quite an old um, painting technique and it's real simple. All you do is you dip your paintbrush and then dry it off with um, a paper towel and then start doing your dry brushing. So for me, I'm going in one direction because I kind of want it to look like a, like a green. The idea is to brush it until you don't see any more paint coming off of it. Everybody. So this project is wrapped up. Just to summarize what we did, we did a chalk paint and then we sanded it down, distressed it, and then we put a dry brush technique on it. I think this table has a ton of character now and I just, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thanks for joining me this time. I'll see you next time on 
make it myself. Bye.